Welcome to the service of Compline on this Tuesday, the 16th day of March, 2021, for the Stormont Deanery Praying Through Lent series from St. Clair's, Winchester. Let us now take a moment to give thanks to God for the blessings of this day. The Lord Almighty, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. The appointed psalm for this evening is Psalm number 139. O Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but you, O Lord, know it all together. You encompass me behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go then from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are also there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, your right hand hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night. Even darkness is no darkness with you. The night is as clear as the day Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you yourself created my inmost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works. My soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my form as yet unfinished, already in your book were all my numbers written. As day by day they were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How deep are your counsels to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I count them, they are more in number than the sand, and at the end I am still in your presence. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Creator God, may every breath we take before your glory, may every footstep show you as our way, that trusting in your presence in this world, we may beyond this life still be with you, where you are alive and reign forever and ever. The scripture reading for this evening is Isaiah chapter 58, verse 6 and 7. Is not this the fast that I chose? To lose the bonds of injustice, to undo the thongs of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free, and to break every yoke. Is it not to share your bread with the hungry, and bring the homeless poor into your house? When you see the naked, to cover them, not to hide yourself from your own kin. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, Lord, God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye, Hide me under the shadow of your wings. 
the canticle of song of Solomon. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The Collect for this evening. Merciful Lord, absolve your people from their offenses, that through your bountiful goodness we may all be delivered from the chains of those sins, which by our frailty we have committed. Grant this, Heavenly Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our blessed Lord and Savior, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, may we by the prayer and discipline of Lent enter into the mystery of Christ's sufferings, that by following in the way we may come to share in the glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence as our Savior has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand, and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. May God bless us that in us may be found love and humility, obedience and thanksgiving, discipline, gentleness, and peace. Thank you for sharing this time with us this evening and have a blessed evening.